can't deal with it no more. I can't hold this hurt and this burden no more. And I don't want no woman to ever go through and experience what I've had to experience because of Corey J. Coleman and because of Brandon Coleman and because of Bitch of T.D. James or First Lady J. or their family. Hi there. Welcome to Relax Brew. Some shocking allegations regarding a famous Christian family have recently circulated. Cora Coleman, who is the daughter of T.D. Jakes, is caught up in a scandal. There have been some disturbing allegations that Coleman used deceitful techniques to steal a kid from another lady, and these claims have gone viral online. And it's no secret that T.D. Jakes has been in the middle of controversy ever since he allegedly had an affair with Diddy, which led to his exposure. His daughter has allegedly manipulated a woman into giving birth to her child adding even more scandal to the mix. After learning that she might have trouble conceiving at the age of 22, Cora Coleman was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. Despite numerous in vitro fertilization, IVF operations, the problem remains unresolved. Because of this, Cora Coleman adopted a daughter with her ex-husband, Richard Brandon. From 2011 until they decided to divorce early this year, they were married for over 10 years. Richard was arrested for sexually molesting their adopted daughter just four months after the divorce. Amarie, their adopted daughter, is 13 years old, and a family source claims that Richard touched her improperly. According to the insider, something farther than physical contact may have occurred. Earlier this month, on May 4, Richard was arrested for sexual assault. Next, Richard was divorced from Cora. To keep her daughter and the situation private, though, she opted not to talk about the divorce in public. In 2019, Cora discussed her struggles with pregnancy and the solutions she found. A Kid Through Adoption, a heartbreaking video featuring hairdresser Michelle Loud telling her tale about Cora has gone viral. Michelle had a son named Jason while enduring a terrible relationship, which ended in her becoming homeless. According to her, Cora and Richard used deceitful methods to abduct her son. Additionally, she was worried that her child could, particularly in view of Richard's incarceration, endure injury while under their care. When Michelle needed spiritual counseling, she went to the church for aid, and that's where she met Cora. During her time in therapy, Michelle claimed she felt incredibly depressed. Despite her suffering from postpartum depression, she asserted that Cora coerced and misled her into placing her baby Jason for adoption. Cora made use of spiritual strategies to convince the suffering single mother that God wanted her to give up her child. Michelle Loud said that the powerful pastor and prayer warrior promised to help her after Jason was born, but she felt taken advantage of from the beginning. Having a son wasn't for her own good, Cora assured her time and time again. Within her video that was made public, she was also vague about her lack of confidence in her ability to handle the problem. It was shown in the film that Michelle had been set up from the start. She claimed she was actually there to take my child, and she did everything that she could to get what she wanted, she and her husband. Michelle vented her anger at how quickly Cora completed the custody of her child, and she was unable to take any action due to her need for assistance throughout the divorce. She confessed on the video, saying, She took advantage of my weakness. She recorded me on a MacBook and asked me questions in what seemed like counseling, but it wasn't counseling at all because she would later use the same tactics on me. When I went to defend my son in court, they may have used that evidence against me. Defeating Cora was difficult, and she said she was losing the will to fight. She went on to say that she had to represent herself in court until she lost her fighting skills as a result of all the manipulation. I represented myself in the trial, in trial by myself, she revealed, sitting there and reaching a compromise because I had lost any sense of how to fight. Cora insisted that Jason was not her child and that she would only occasionally see him in an Instagram screenshot that went viral as well. Unwind with Tasha K. Recently interviewed Michelle, and one of the questions they asked was about her thoughts on, despite Michelle's protests that she had no desire to relinquish her child. Michelle freely mentioned and even named members of the Jakes family in the video she shared on social media. None of the women involved, including T.D. Jakes, Cora Coleman, and Richard Coleman, should ever have to go through what she had. A lot of people have been talking about T.D. Jakes lately because he is said to have ties to the renowned rap mogul P. Diddy. Bishop T.D. Jakes's family in association with P. Diddy appear to be casting a shadow over his esteemed and prominent reputation. 
Having sought the pastor's counsel during a difficult period in his life, Diddy has publicly expressed his gratitude and admiration for him. Together in 2021, T.D. Jakes and Diddy declared their partnership, bringing the pastor's unique sermon series to REVOLT-TV, a prominent Black-owned multimedia channel. There is proof from recordings of Diddy's parties that certain famous people, like T.D. Jakes, engaged in inappropriate behavior with multiple men at these gatherings, according to a leaked video. Several serious allegations are leveled against Diddy in the video. Many began to worry that he and his colleagues were involved in some scandalous occurrences. The photos of Diddy and T.D. Jake at the party have gone viral, and in one of them, Diddy seems to be making an Illuminati sign with his hands, suggesting that he may be planning an initiation ceremony. Former musician and current Diddy collaborator, Mace claims that some have speculated that these initiations may have included strange rites, like engaging in immoral behavior as a pastor, including nudity and strange behaviors. But that's not all the controversy. Pastor T.D. Jakes has a less-than-stellar reputation. Many have doubts and suspicions about him stemming from their skepticism about his character. It appears that, as of late, Pastor T.D. Jakes and P. Diddy are really close. Is there more going on between them than simply a compatibility of personalities? There have been whispers in the past that T.D. is trying to hide his sexual orientation. Suspicion of a romance between Diddy and someone else has long circulated, given his penchant for keeping private matters of the heart. Diddy has a history of coercing people into sexually explicit behavior. Diddy allegedly forced Chris Williams to perform a certain deed, as Jaguar Wright pointed out. This whole thing started when Christopher went to sign Puff Daddy to his Bad Boy Artists record company. Supposedly, in an aggressive and vengeful move, Diddy forced Chris into an awkward predicament. T.D. Jakes and Diddy themselves have also come under fire from P. Diddy's outspoken former bodyguard, Gene Deal. He has already proven that Diddy has been engaging in criminal acts and getting away with it because of the abundance of proof he has provided. Yet this time, Gene singled out T.D. Jake, praising him as a saint. Claiming that the guilty parties, referring to Diddy, aren't inseparable, Gene confessed that it is sinful for a saint to attend a party and drink alcohol. In addition, he said that T.D. Jakes is damaging Christians' reputations with his continued actions with P. Diddy. Diddy hosts gay parties, as Gene has confirmed. Additionally, Gene mentioned that he finds it challenging to understand why T.D. Diddy invites Jakes, his spiritual advisor, to his gatherings. Since no devout person would dare visit a location where sins are being committed, Gene speculates that there may be more going on than meets the eye. According to him, all of the questions people have about T.D. Jakes and Diddy's relationship will be answered when the tapes exposing their affairs are released soon. More than simply, although Gene Deal has not commented on T.D. Jakes and P. Diddy, a number of Hollywood stars have. As proof of her accusations, Jaguar Wright has been publicly airing rumors and purportedly dubious dealings involving Diddy. She speaks out against him, calling attention to his alleged not-so-secret relationship with Pastor T.D. Jakes. The long-lasting friendship between T.D. Jakes and Diddy, which began during Diddy's tenure, has sparked worry. Given T.D.'s position as a preacher and Diddy's propensity for excessive partying, Kim Porter many people think P. Diddy is a bit of a wild child because of the reputation Diddy has gained among fans and the entertainment world because of the recent Cassie case. Through deceit and manipulation, he achieves his goals. Quite a few individuals now assert that because he controls T.D. Jakes and his entire family, they are powerless to do good. The reason for Cora Coleman's online baby theft from a distraught mother is this. The truth has come out, and people know that adoption does not include manipulating or coercing despite what Cora maintains. According to one user, some or most people will when you are emotionally, spiritually, financially, or cognitively weak, take advantage of you to the fullest. When a man is preoccupied and a woman is disheartened, the enemy attacks, as T. D. Jakes once said, Well, it's very clear that Cora Jakes is the bad guy. T. D. Jakes, known for his beer belly and cabbage patch wife, is a master of deceit, according to another user. Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.